Welcome to SeedProd, the best drag and drop WordPress website builder and landing page builder on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add custom WordPress social media icons to your website. This video will help you to let visitors know about your social media accounts, encourage visitors to follow you, link to less common social media platforms, and place icons anywhere you like on your website. Inside of the WordPress dashboard, I have SeedProd installed on the left hand side. We can see it in the menu. Let's go to SeedProd and theme builder. Here we can quickly add a theme template kit. When you find one you like, you can click the orange button. This will import all of the necessary template files to set up a website for you. Once you've found one that you like, you can enable the seed prod theme. Let's click yes. And here we can see the front page of our new website. This is the theme that we just imported and we have complete control over the look and design of it. Let's go ahead and add some custom social media icons to the header as well as to the footer. Inside of the theme builder, these are template files. So first let's look for the header file. We have two pages here. Let's click the next page and we can see the header template file. We can see the conditions here are applied to the entire website. So that means the header will apply on every page. Let's go ahead and edit the design. And here we can see the header that's used on every single page. Instead of having two columns, let's go ahead and add three. Let's recreate this. I'll click the plus sign to add a row and let's do three columns. I'm going to click and move our logo to the middle. Let's click the icon here to block settings and we'll just align this to the middle. We also have the menu here. Let's put this on the right side and this will look better when we change the sizing of things. We don't need this row anymore so we can delete this and click yes to delete it. Next we want to add the social media icons here on the left hand side. We have the option here to search the blocks. So we'll type in social profiles and under advanced you'll see the social profiles block. Let's click and drag this and drop it. Let's click the block settings. And here you can see the four default social media accounts and the icons for each one. If you don't want one, you can simply delete it. Or if you want to add a new one, you can add a new share. You can duplicate. And you can change the order of them. To modify each one, you can click the cog wheel. And this will open up the place to put the URL. Down below, we can change the style and we have the different sizes. On the bottom, we have the alignment. Let's try aligning that to the left. And at the top, we have templates here. Here we can change the style. Templates are a quick way to change the style instantly without modifying the design yourself. Since everything is black and white, we can try a black and white design. And I think that looks good. Under advanced, you have different options for the style such as stacked or default, the icon size, border radius, padding, spacing, and shadow. You also have options for spacing for the margin and the padding. Under attributes, you have a unique CSS ID you can use to target this, or you can add your own custom CSS class. If you're not sure what this is, you can just leave this alone. And for device visibility, you can hide this block on desktop or on mobile if you like. Let's come back to content and we'll add a custom social media icon. Let's go to add new share, select the type, scroll to the bottom and click on custom. Next, let's hit the cog wheel here. And this will open up a place to select the icon. And here you have many different icons to choose from. I'm just gonna select Amazon. And down here, you can put the URL to your Amazon store or whatever custom social media icon that you added. Again, you can change the order of this if you like. So we can put this to the top. You can see that the order changes here. We can switch this to mobile. And here you can see your social media icons at the top. You can switch back to desktop. Next for these icons, I wanna click on save block and give this a name. Let's go ahead and save this as a template. And now we can use this little template wherever we want on the website. Let's go ahead and save our header and close out of here. Next back in the theme builder, let's scroll down and we'll modify the footer. Let's go to the second page. We can see the footer template. Let's edit design. Instead of searching for the social profile block, this time we can scroll to the bottom to our saved blocks. Let's open this and you can see our custom social profiles. We can click and drag this into anywhere on our file. And now you'll see the four icons that we added earlier. Let's go ahead and save this and we can close out here. Next, when I refresh the front page, we can see our icons here at the top that we added in our header file, as well as in the footer on the bottom right hand corner. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit seedprod.com and check out our documentation page. If you require extra technical help, please feel free to contact our support team. 
Hey everybody, this is Chris from SeedProd. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites and landing pages by using our drag and drop page builder.